In 2019, Rutgers University marks the centennial anniversary of Paul Robeson's graduation from Rutgers College. Robeson is one of the university's most distinguished alumni as a scholar, athlete, actor, singer, and global activist. Rutgers University is honoring Robeson in a year-long celebration featuring lectures, performances, art exhibits, and more. The spotlight that shines on Robeson during 2019 illuminates the rich legacy he left at the university and the world. 100 years ago, Paul Robeson, Rutgers University's third black student, took center stage at graduation to deliver his valedictory address. From Rutgers, he went on to become a renowned singer and performer, and one of the 20th century's strongest advocates for human rights at home and on the world stage. At Rutgers, he overcame many challenges to excel as an athlete and a scholar. He honed his oratory skills as a member of the Intercollegiate Debating Association, winning their annual contest all four years at Rutgers, and was inducted into Phi Beta Kappa and Rutgers Cap and Skull Honor Society. The ideas Robeson developed in his senior thesis, titled The Fourteenth Amendment, The Sleeping Giant of the American Constitution, called for its use to ensure equality before the law, so the American people shall develop a higher sense of constitutional morality. He presented this argument in his 1919 valedictory address, charging his audience to work for a society in which there will be equal opportunities for all, and character shall be the standard of excellence until black and white shall clasp friendly hands. Throughout his life, Paul Robeson worked toward the American idealism he espoused in his valedictory address. After earning a law degree from Columbia Law School, Robeson began using his talents to promote African and African-American history and culture. Over nearly four decades, he achieved worldwide acclaim as a vocalist, orator, and actor on stage and screen, eventually learning to speak more than 20 languages fluently. In April, Rutgers dedicated the Paul Robeson Plaza on a College Avenue campus in New Brunswick. The ceremony included an invocation by his grandnephew, the Reverend Dr. Gregory Robeson Smith, and remarks by Robeson's granddaughter, Susan Robeson, who said, My greatest hope is that students today try to become global citizens who transcend boundaries and engage with the issues of peace and social justice in every corner of the globe. And like Paul, never fear to speak truth to power. My grandfather often said, I'm not free until we're all free. And he wasn't just talking about black folks. He was talking about every single person who walks on the planet Earth. A towering figure in the African-American struggle for human dignity and democratic rights, Robeson connected the struggle with people around the world, fighting for political rights, cultural recognition, and economic justice. Today, the Rutgers class of 2019 is about to take center stage as one of the most diverse graduating classes of any university. As President Obama suggested on this very stage, America converges here at Rutgers. Now, as graduates, we will take our place on the world stage. Congratulations, Rutgers School of Arts and Sciences, class of 2019.